Welcome to the first introduction of PyQ GIS in the GIS World Academy with Muhammad. Today we will talk about what is PyQ GIS, why we should use it, how we can learn it, and what are the prerequisites to master this great tool. The first question that definitely comes to everyone's minds is uh, what is a PyQ GIS? PyQ GIS is a Python API application programming interface for the QGIS and uh, it allows you to interact with QGIS programmatically with a uh, Python enabling automations of the GIS task and uh, um, the customization, for example, the creation of the custom scripts and definitely plugins. We will cover both of them in this tutorial. And why we should use PyQ GIS? The first and the most important part, I think, is the automation. PyQ GIS allows you to automate all the repetitive GIS tasks, making your workflow more efficient and less error prone. The second one is customization. So with PyQ GIS, you can extend QGIS functionality, creating the custom tools, custom scripts, plugins, interfaces, exactly according to your specific need. The last one is data analysis. So you can leverage Python powerful libraries for data analysis, processing, visualization, with conjunction with QGIS data. And uh, another question is definitely why we should learn PyQGIS. The first word is empowerment. PyQGIS empowers you to have a over complete control over the QGIS and enables you to create a specialized workflow and all you have all the functionality of also the QGIS. Versati versatility. So Python is a versatile programming language with a wide range of libraries and uh, making it valuable skills beyond the QGIS contest. And uh, Another one is the career opportunities. If you look at LinkedIn and any other job seeking websites, you see that the GIS professions with programming skills, particularly in the Python and PyQGIS are in the high demand. So what are the prerequisites? Do we need anything special? Yes, basic knowledge of Python programming, so such as variables, building functions, data structure, loops, conditional statements, and uh, functions. And the last one, the familiarity with the GIS concept, definitely it will be helpful. So you should know that what is what are the special data, so what are the open data, how can I, for example, what are the geo package, shapefile, how can I download them, and labeling, symbology, and all other tools are really, really helpful. So how we can learn them? The only thing that you need Again, go to the GIS World channel. So we have different type of playlists. So two playlists are very, very important for the PyQGIS Python and the QGIS. In the Python, we have already covered all the different type of uh, uh, the topics and the subjects uh, ranging from for installations, comments, variables, Python data structure, and the conditional statement. And we have two important assignments that we are testing your knowledge according to all of those topics plus the functional programming. So if you know and if you have already reviewed all those 11 videos, you, can, you will be able uh, to write one clean, uh, uh, one clean script in the PyQGIS without any problem. Another another important part that I want to tell you is our uh, is our QGIS part. So, you uh, trap. yes, I make a mistake. Okay, just uh, in our 
QGIS part, you can also find all of the videos, all of the videos from the first step, uh, the installations and the installations, the user interface, common plugins, shape files, geo package, filtering, symbology, Q field, and other important things that we need it into the QGIS. So in this case, if you have already covered the Python and the QGIS, you will never have any problem. Okay, thanks a lot for your attentions for the very short introduction part. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding the PyQGIS or any question regarding the QGIS and Python, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. And uh, if you like our videos and uh, please support us by recommending our channels to your friends and also subscribing our channel. So see you soon in the next video. Bye.